If you ever considered a paleo diet, then you're in the right place. Because today, I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to know about how to eat paleo. The word diet has become corrupted by devious nutritional companies. What once meant all of the foods that a person typically consumes is now thought of as a short-term caloric restriction meant to lose a few pounds. Paleo is a diet in the traditional sense of the word. It's a nutritional framework within which to eat. It includes anything that was consumed by our hunter-gatherer ancestors and excludes anything introduced more recently. At face value, this sounds pretty simple, but it's not as easy as it might seem. Different hunter-gatherer tribes consume different foods and different authors have varying opinions on what's actually paleo. Let's just address all of these concerns with a very simple paleo framework. Only consume foods from the four kingdoms of life. Animals, plants, bacteria, and fungi. That means nothing that was developed in a laboratory and produced in a factory. Nothing that was excessively refined or excessively processed. Essentially, anything that was never part of a living being isn't paleo. Hey Ma! What's an N-acetyl-L-tyrosine tree look like? So, from the four kingdoms, what can we eat? Let's start with the animal kingdom. Our ancestors ate every type of animal they encountered, so you can too. That means mammals, birds, insects, seafood, even humans. But I don't actually advise eating people. Modern day people have terrible diets and are way too sedentary to be considered paleo. Animals whose lives most closely resemble their natural habitats are preferred for paleo. That means grass fed, pasture raised, locally farmed, and wild animals are best. That also means that crossfitters who eat paleo are back on the menu. Bon appetit. But if you can't find or afford these types of meats, don't worry about it. Regular grocery store meats are perfectly fine, as are an animal's flesh, bone marrow, and organs. So if you're the type of person who just loves the taste of a warm, salty set of testicles in your mouth, no judgment here. Just toss some Rocky Mountain oysters on the grill and you're good to go. So every type of animal and all of their tissue is okay to eat. But what about animal products? Honey and eggs are both paleo approved, while dairy is excluded. Dairy wasn't introduced into our diet until more recently, so this means no milk or any of its derivatives while eating paleo. And this brings us to the plant kingdom. Plant matter made up the bulk volume of a hunter-gatherer diet. They're divided into two categories, vegetables and fruits. Vegetable is the botanical term for the edible portion of a plant that's not part of the reproductive cycle. This means all roots, tubers, stems, leaves, bulbs, and buds are vegetables, all of which are paleo approved, as are vegetable products like spices and teas. Vegetable oil is the only vegetable product banned from the paleo diet, and it's usually actually comprised of fruits. Botanically speaking, Fruits are the part of a plant that develop from the flower and contain seeds. Some paleo approved fruits include all pomes, citrus, gourds, droops, and berries. Bananas, melons, and avocados are all technically berries, as are nightshades, like tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants. Nightshades are a point of contention amongst some paleo advocates, but these people can lick my nuts. Another paleo approved fruit. Botanically speaking, nuts are composed of a hard shell surrounding a seed, like hazelnuts and walnuts. Almonds, pecans, pistachios, and cashews are all culinary nuts, but technically speaking, they're actually more like what comes from my nuts. Seeds, specifically droop seeds, as are coffee, cocoa, and vanilla beans. Pumpkin seeds are gourd seeds, and sunflower seeds are sheen seeds, all of which are paleo approved fruits. But what about grass seeds? Wheat, rice, corn, oats, and quinoa are all the seeds of grasses, all of which are explicitly banned from the paleo diet. These grass seeds are also known as cereal grains. Grains in general are banned from the diet. That includes both cereal and legumes. Legume is the name given to a seed pot that opens upon maturity to reveal the grain inside. That includes peas, lentils, peanuts, and most beans, all of which are prohibited from the paleo diet. But what about fruit products? The product of any fruit that's already paleo approved is also approved. That means that all natural nut butters, fruit juices, and oils are good to go. Okay, but what about fermented fruits? This brings us to the bacteria kingdom. Bacteria is used in the process of fermentation. Any food that's already paleo approved will remain so once fermented, and those that are banned remain banned. But bacteria isn't the only method of fermentation. You can also do this through the kingdom of fungi. 
There's three paleo fruit fungi, mushrooms, truffles, and yeast. Yeast is used to ferment sugars into ethanol, which is used for two primary purposes, vinegar and alcohol. Vinegar is paleo approved due to its health benefits and its utility in cooking, while alcohol is banned from the diet due to its health detriments. But don't worry, just because alcohol is banned doesn't mean that paleo bans all drugs. Entheogen use is popular amongst contemporary hunter-gatherers and past societies. From peyote and ayahuasca in the Americas to marijuana and psilocybin in the old world, drug use was fairly popular. So feel free to use both naturally occurring caffeine and hallucinogens in your paleo diet. And next time you're being pulled over on a drug offense, just plead paleo and you'll be good to go. So there you have your framework for how to eat paleo. If you have any more questions or want more information on any of the topics I discussed, visit our website, shrededucated.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see all the updates as they come. Thanks for watching. Keep strong, lift on.